Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and welcome to Mac Tip Monday. This Monday, we're going to talk about how to bring your Lion OS X Lion version back to a Snow Leopard-like version. And what I mean by that is a couple different things. One of the things you either love or hate is app resuming, the little lights on the dock, and scrolling the scroll bar is missing in Lion. So I thought we'd go ahead and show you how to restore that, and then we'll talk about an application to recommend at the end of this. So let's go ahead and show you how to bring back or shut off the restored windows. Here we're going to go to System Preferences. That could be under your Finder, under Applications. And what we'll do is go up to General, and under General we have this option, Restore Windows When Quitting and Reopening Apps. If you simply uncheck that, you'll no longer have them auto restore. That means every time you close an application, what you were last doing goes away unless you've saved it. So you either want this or you don't. Really simple option. I actually do like it uh, unless I'm restarting my computer. In that case, I tell it don't resume because it does give you that option when you restart. Now, other than that option, we also have the little lights down here that used to be on. And those lights, you either like them or you hate them. And the way to turn those on, what they were in Snow Lion, or Snow Lion, <laughs> Snow Leopard, uh, was actually the way to allow you to tell you what is actually open. So here we have show indicator lights, and see the lights are on down here now. I can turn them off. I prefer them on because I want to know what's actually open. I don't want to know what's open, what's not. A lot of people that use Macs just leave everything open. I don't, uh, but there are other people that definitely do. So that's one thing. You can turn it on or off. Now, if you upgraded for, from Snow Leopard to Lion, you'll actually have the lights turned on by default. If you didn't, they'll be off just like that. So if you like them, turn them on. If not, turn them off. We'll go back one here. And the final thing is the scroll bar. And that means the scroll bar when you're in an application or a different website or whatever we have here. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and open one up. So here we have the Zolotech website, my website. You can see over here, here's the little scroll. You can keep it there by moving your mouse cursor there. Uh, it will go away. If you want it there all the time, you can change that, and it's a simple preference. If we go under General again, we have the option to use scrolling. Automatically based on input, show scroll bars when scrolling or always. Now it's always here to the right. If I do when scrolling, it'll be there when scrolling or automatically. I don't mind it, so I keep it on automatic, but some people want it all the time, and that's how you keep it on. Now the final thing that you might want to restore it back to a Snow Leopard-like state is scrolling. And we do that under trackpad or mouse. And under trackpad, uh, here we have scroll and zoom and scroll direction natural. Now what that means is on my trackpad right now, when I push up, the web page goes up. When I pull down, it goes down. Now I have gotten used to this and I find it very natural. But for those that like the old school way of doing it, we uncheck. And now when I scroll down, it goes down, up, it goes up, kind of that way. So this is, I'm pushing up, I'm pulling down. So you can change that to whatever your preference. Very easy to do, and those are the different tips for today. So pretty simple, built into OS X, a lot of people just don't even realize it. The application we're going to talk about or recommend here is called iNet iNet allows you to find different things on your network. Now, in my case, I've used this in large locations, such as a church, to see how many people are online at once and see how many people are actually using the entire network at one time. It's a $5.99 app. It is also available on your iPhone, and you can see things very well with it. And I'll give you an example. We'll go ahead and open it as I purchased it. And here you can see this is my network. What I'll do is scan the network. I've scanned the network and here you can see here is my time capsule. It's visible. It's a router. You can see all the different things about it. Here we have what's on the network currently. So we have my time capsule. This would be most likely my printer. This would be my server. This would be my TiVo, my MacBook Pro I'm using right now, and the iHome IW2, which I have a review coming for very soon. So those are just your basic things. Name, vendor. You can see their IP address is there, how many services. If I go to my server, it gives the MAC address, gives different information about that. This is also a full screen app, which is nice. We'll go ahead and go full screen. It's a full screen app, which is really nice. 
bring it back and you can see right here we tap on this gives you all sorts of different things about each one and there's my time capsule and it will also give me status and and, and uh, clients and all sorts of things so it's really nice to know uh, I can look at it very easily take a look at it open the airport utility look at interfaces really nice that we have what's going on details it's just a really handy app, uh, app to use and uh, I would suggest it to anybody that needs to closely monitor their network or or find problems on their network or things like that Fairly inexpensive, $5.99, like I said. It's available for free on the iPhone, and there's a paid version if you want more detail like this. So overall, a really nice application, definitely worth checking out. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please go ahead and hit subscribe. As always, comment below on what you think of the app. If you have any other apps to suggest, I'm always open to hear that. Uh, maybe you have one that you find that's a little bit better. Please go ahead and place that in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.